83 yesterday, hottest November temperature on record. So the question I get a lot as a meteorologist is whether or not climate change had any role in this. And again, it is a gray answer that I'm going to give you to what is often framed as a black or white question. So an individual day, the best way to think about this would be if somebody were to ask me or maybe Mike Kliss or somebody in the sports department, are the Broncos a good football team? And if you look at just one game, that's a little tough to assess, right? Are the Broncos a good football team? They won in Houston yesterday, tough to gauge. But you look at the wider picture, and yes, you could say they're a good football team because they're seven and two. Same idea with yesterday and the heat we saw. It wasn't just in Denver. We saw in Pueblo, hottest November temperature on record. And we also saw here in Denver and across Colorado, our fifth consecutive month, month of October. It was our fifth straight October with above average temperatures for us in the Denver area. So extremes are becoming more extreme. That's what we saw yesterday. So was it hot yesterday because of climate change? No, but could that temperature, would it have been maybe 80, 81, and then it kind of went up to 83 as a result of that? That is likely. So again, it's not the heat. It's not the fact that it was hot that uh, is the result of climate change. It's the extremes that are. And fall, that is the time of year where we're seeing the greatest impact. But final note here, folks, and that goes to the gray part of this answer, is that not every warm day is the result of climate change, right? It would have been warm yesterday, no doubt about it. It would have been warm all weekend without a warming climate. But it may take those extremes and push them up just a little bit. And you kind of look at one final thing as well. Tomorrow it's going to be on the warm side, but you've got to look at it from a broad perspective. Again, think about the Broncos analogy, right? Yesterday, the Broncos won. Does that mean they're a good team? Not in it of itself, but you look at the season as a whole and they're seven and two, and you start seeing that the Broncos are good. And again, I'm not saying climate change is good or bad here, but hopefully it just makes sense in terms of the analogy here. And final thing I'll leave you with, we have not had snow in Denver in 200 days as of tomorrow. And you start seeing these later and later first snows. You start seeing these warmer and warmer falls. That is the side of a warming climate, not the fact that yesterday alone was a warm day. So, Kim, Alex, hopefully that makes sense for the viewers at home. You lost me a little bit, but I'm try I was trying that to keep up. That 199 was good, and the comparison to the Broncos a little bit was good. Okay. So, I got it. Hopefully. So, again, it, it, to be fair, it's, it's a great answer to a black or white question. Right. That, okay. that, is, that is the... Uh, reality of things. Hopefully, we saw black. Yeah, you saw the, the black there initially, but that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. But hopefully, <laughs> the that makes sense. The screen is fixed. Thanks. Yes. Thanks, Chris. Chris.